Often when I make brainworms videos, I have empathy for the people in question. Today, that is not the case. I hope everyone we're about to see in a moment gets stung by 1600 hornets and dropped into a bath of vinegar and razor blades. This is why I'm locked and loaded with an IPA, in a condom, of course, because we only practice safe drinking in this household. And some Texas-style jerky slabs because the booze and the labored chewing helps ameliorate my blood pressure. It's one thing to get in an argument that gets out of hand or you have a tough day, you know, and you let your emotions get the best of you and it gets caught on camera. We've seen that a million times before. It's an entirely other thing when your existence is so pathetic and forgettable you resort to doing things like this for attention. Hello, can I get a venti water cup, please? Yeah, is that all? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Oh, it slipped out my hand. I'm so sorry. No problem. I'm sorry. That won't happen again. This is just cruelty for the sake of cruelty, right? There's no punchlines or clever remarks. It's just a sheep shit for brains loser turning on his camera phone and disrespecting hardworking breeches because he's desperate for the attention his father never gave him. But the point remains, in my opinion, this is the lowest level of modern day human behavior that is incentivized because of social media. So I looked into it a little further, and I guess this is the same dude who recently went viral for doing a prank where he offers a homeless guy food and then eats it in front of him instead of giving it to him. And after the backlash, he made a video where he's all, ooh, it was a skit. I'm not going to apologize for a skit. It was a skit. It was a scripted video. Like whatever that means, dude, skit or not, you're still a steaming pile of fecal matter. Against my better judgment, I continued looking into this dude and there's additional videos of him going into Starbucks and sexually harassing the female baristas by stroking himself in front of them while he orders. He's not exposed per se, but it's wildly inappropriate and probably illegal. In fact, I don't know the nuances of the law, but it would make my year if this dude got dinged as a sexual predator and had to walk around with that scarlet letter on his chest for the rest of his life. People like this just exist. We know that. And unfortunately, they have the same barrier to entry for making content as you and I, and it's the price of one smartphone. I find solace and lean on the statistical probability that losers like this eventually realize the dopamine they get from this elicited negative attention does nothing to fill the emptiness of living a pathetic, purposeless life. Also, if he went skydiving and the chute didn't open, I mean, yeah, I... Come on, man. I'm burning your car down, bro. Your car, man. Over. All of this. Yeah. Uh-huh. Why you wanna do it? Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, bro. So when I was compiling clips of this video, I didn't know this when I saw this clip originally, but and when I'm looking through some of the comments, I'm realizing this is actually the exact same dude from the Starbucks video that we just talked about. Part of me is grateful because it means at least it's not another guy being a complete piece of shit. It's just like the concentration of asshole dickhead is still just in the same one person. Like Boont Gang 2.0, but somehow less entertaining or funny or creative. Boont Gang, that's a whole lot of gang shit. Mm, my brain hurts too bad. I had to stop for a moment and plug my new Brainworms merch. This is my new favorite design, but there's two others. Check out leonlush.com slash shop. The link is in the description. Anyways, this gasoline prank, right, is all well and good until you do it to the wrong guy and it's fuck around and find out time. So first we have to decide how much do we want to find out? It better be water, partner, or you're one dead son of a bitch. You stay out of this. Yeah, I don't think you want to do that. I don't want to do that. You almost died, you stupid son of a bitch. First of all, loving this old dude. That line sounded like it was directly out of an old Western film. It better be water, partner, or you're one dead son of a bitch. I mean, this is just an old dude minding his own business, and because you want 45 views on TikTok, you're about to get killed and make this old man catch a body? For what? Clout? 
Like, this is peak idiocracy. Listen, you know, I'm glad no violence resulted from this, but if this man didn't have the restraint to take his time drawing his weapon and figure out what was going on and he just popped one off out of fear for his life, I'm not blaming the guy. Uh. Yeah, Hiroshima? You know, Hiroshima? Nagasaki? You know, why you do this? Pearl Harbor? Hiroshima! Nagasaki! So, continuing the trend of people I'd like to see punted into outer space is this pathetic termite who traveled to Japan, I guess, to harass natives on the subway in the most racially insensitive, unfunny, and incoherent video in existence. He was live streaming, I guess, okay? But the shining light in this situation, a beacon of hope, shows up to restore my faith in humanity and remind you and I that there are truly decent people in this world, a lot of them, in fact, but unfortunately, they don't get the same amount of screen time as these brainlets so I'm gonna cherish this moment with every fiber of my being, and I hope you will join me in doing so because the guy we're about to see is an absolute fucking legend. What? Hey, you know. Why don't you sleep alone? What? Sleep alone, man. What, what do you mean? Where are you from? I'm, are you, where, you know where I'm from? Where are you from? I'm from uh, America. You're from America? Yes. So am I. You're from America? Yeah, you're being obnoxious. You know what we do to you? What do you do? We will do again. Do what? Hiroshima Nagasaki. You understand? Do you think I'm Japanese? Where are you from? I'm from America. Where are you from? What's your ethnicity? Texas, buddy. What's your ethnicity? I'm Korean. Then sit down, brother. Why don't you sit here? So we got the Korean Texas native in the Japanese subway willing to stand up to this piece of shit, and I've never been so elated in my life. The level of fucking... The level of emotional and biological underdevelopment required to make something like this, thinking this is a cool thing to do and this is how I'm gonna make my bread, like, it's f staggering. Anyways, Blue Shirt showed up and let's continue. Yes. Korean War, you know what happened to you? Come on, you don't, don't, touch touch me. don't touch me, brother. Korean War, North Korean War, you know what we did to you? Fuck your ass up. Fuck it. You said to me? You better move Come on, away. man, just, just calm down. Bro. You know what we do, CX, hashtag hey, CX. How many subs you have? Bro, I'm at 1,000 subs right now. Nice. You know what I, you know, bro, I'm making money from this. So this dude knows the culture, right? He sees that he's streamed. He's like, how many subs you have? He's like, I'm in a thousand subs right now. And his little, his little sub goal on like overlay on a stream says 16 out of 25. Thousand subs, dude. Fuck out of here, dude. You're out of your mind. Man needs a little clown nose, a little honk honk. Sit down, brother. Enjoy. I'm just saying. He, he Enjoy. Didn't, sit he down. Didn't he ain't do nothing to me. What? He doesn't understand just, what I'm saying right now. calm down. Yeah, he didn't listen, do nothing to you. That's exactly is, right. Listen, you know what we did to your country too? Are you North Korean? South Korean? What do you think? I don't know. Just why not be a good? You're from America. Why don't you sit down? Why don't you be a good representative? Why don't you of sit America? down? Like you don't make America's look I good. I don't give a fuck shit. about America. You're from America. I give a fuck about my money. And I bet the money's just flowing in with insane entertainment like this. You absolute piece of dog shit. <laughs> right? Of course. So like have some respect. So sit down, bro. You're not even from here. So you're from North Korea. So enjoy. It doesn't matter. What you mean? I see a guy that's clearly uncomfortable. Everybody, say bye. I'm just trying to help your brother out. It's no problem. Okay. I'm just saying to have a respect. Yeah. We control your country. We control this country. You understand? It doesn't matter. Yes, it does matter. You're being obnoxious. Of course. So why don't you sit down? Just, just calm your ass down. Right? There's no problem. Sit down. If you sit down, I sit down. I'll stand. Say bye. Say bye. Leave the guy alone, bro. It's no problem. Unless I can make a call. Like you're, you're just being obnoxious. You're I being can make rude. a call, you know what I mean? Like talking about Hiroshima and whatever. It's like, what do you mean? Like that's such like shit content. We did it. We did it before we can do it again. You like, know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> My man hit him where it hurts. He gets it, right? He's like, oh, you're talking about Hiroshima. Like you're just saying words, right? That is such dog shit content. There's nothing behind, like your only existence is to obnoxiously harass people and try to pretend like it's entertaining. That's dog shit content. It's bad enough that people watch this kind of stuff, but the fact that people actually give these losers money is beyond embarrassing. Nothing about this is remotely funny or entertaining. And that may be true, right? There's gonna be a couple of lonely brainlets on the internet that will see this and be like, oh, this is so, oh, he's in Japan, it's so fucking, that's a WW, bro, fucking W fire emoji, here's my sub, like, 
just little insecure, emotionally underdeveloped losers will send this man money, right? But the reality is this man's never going to grow to be something remarkable or prolific in any sort of way. You can do shit like this for your 15 minutes. You'll go viral on Reddit, right? You might have one month where a couple of subs you get your subs boost a little bit because there's a couple of fucking basement dwellers that will roll through to your stream and you know what I'm saying? Give you a sub because they love this type of harassment behavior. But the reality is your existence is fucking pathetic. And you might one or two months make enough money to buy a loaf of bread and some fucking eggs, but you're never gonna make a living doing this shit because most people, and I wanna repeat this fact because we usually get this shit surfaced to us all the time when we're on Twitter and all these other social media platforms and it skews our idea of what's going on in the world. Most people don't suck as bad as this guy sucks. There is a lot of people out there like Blue Shirt Dude who in this video was an absolute legend. That I would say represents the mindset of most people, people like you watching this video, people like me, people that care about other people, people that have empathy and that judge other people's character on how they treat strangers. So it is infuriating for me watching lowlifes like this desperately kicking and flailing to get their 15 minutes by being provocateur losers. But the reality is that this shit is nothing more than a fleeting moment, you know? A camera flash in the eternity of darkness that is their unremarkable life. And they'll eventually realize that and be faced with the tough decision of continuing their meaningless quest as a pathetic loser or maturing enough to live as a man worthy of admiration. I know that if you're watching this, you're worthy of admiration, at least from me. And as always, I'm grateful for your time and I'll see you soon. Before you go, make sure you stand up out of your chair, hip thrust that motherfucking like button. I appreciate you.